My name is Casey, and here I sit in the volume.com studio. And I mentioned earlier, I'm going to have some company, and, and company we've got. we got a lot of company in here. we got Grace, uh, Grace Bowers and the Hodgepodge here. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. Good. Now, this, this is not the full hodgepodge, right? This is uh, this is part of the hodgepodge. This, this is we're missing, how many are we missing? Two, two, two okay. Three, two, three, two, two or three. So you have all the you have all the hodge. You're just missing a little podge today. Yeah, yeah, that, right. That's fine. You know, on a Friday, I think that's okay. That's acceptable. So you got a show coming up on Monday, right? Mm-hmm. Tell yeah. us about the show on Monday. Yeah, it's called Grace Bowers and Friends. It'll be at the Basement East mm-hmm. on or er, Basement East. No, it's Brooklyn not bad. Ball, Nashville. Brooklyn Bowl. That's all right. It was at Basement East it's last early. year. It's not live. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> it is going to be at Brooklyn Bowl this Monday. Yep. Uh, we have a ton of musicians playing. We have two special guests that. I can't say right, right. now, but i um, very excited about it. So I'm going to benefit Voices for Safer Tennessee and Music Cares. Well, right on. Well, I'll tell you what, we're, we're talking about music quite a bit. Why don't we hear some music? You want to play something for us? Yeah. What are you going to do? Uh, this is a song me and AC wrote with Maggie Rose called Madam President. Right on. Three, one, two, three. Uh. Working her hardest, can't seem to break through. Plans, friends, they come and go like the trend, making this world so strange. And yeah, still open for a little bit, still open, we'll catch a break. In all this dead, maybe while I'm still alive, we'll see a madam president. Plants, friends, they come and go like the trends. Dang, this world so strange. Hand, yeah, still open for a little bit. Still open, we'll catch a break. Well, all right then. That's Grace Bowers and the Hodgepodge here on Lightning 100 Live on Volume.com and in the Volume.com studio. Real quick, Grace, introduce who, who the who the uh, the Hodge is here today. Yeah, well, on vocals we have AC. On bass. Excellent name, by the way. <laughs> Very nice. Bass, Eric Fortaleza. On keys, we have Josh Blaylock. Mm-hmm. And, and, and then, on guitar and vocal, we have Grace Bowers. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then who uh, who's the rest of the band? Who's going to be out there on Monday? Who's the rest of the band? Um, well, then on Monday, we'll have, we have actually like a lot of people. We'll have mm-hmm. a horn section and BGVs, and then we'll have uh, another guitar player, and then uh, drums and percussion. It's a lot of us. <laughs> so, yeah. So pretty much, it, it sounds like everybody except uh, me and Tom out there running the cameras are going to be yeah. on stage yeah. Monday. <laughs> wow, okay, all right. Well, we're hanging out with Grace Bowers here on Lightning 100, and uh, we're getting ready for a show on Monday. Uh, it's an evening celebrating love, life, and music. And why, why is doing a show like this just as an artist? I mean, this seems like something you do because it's a true labor of love, correct? Mm-hmm. Yeah, well... Um, Last year, the first one was, I started it after the Covenant school mm-hmm. shooting happened. And um, I was, you know, there were a lot of protests at the Capitol and I would go to them and looking around there, 
like I was like half the people there were people my age mm-hmm. and we're the ones who can't vote. So I wanted to do, you know, something that could raise awareness and make a change. So I put together that show last year and Nashville showed out in such a huge way that I've decided I'm going to do it every year now. So it's amazing. Um, yeah. And Covenant, the school actually like received so much support yeah. that they like closed their donations. So, wow. <laughs> um, yeah. So this year it's all going to go to Voices for Safer Tennessee and Music mm-hmm. Cares and uh, Voices is an organization that kind of um, is bringing awareness to gun violence and not just Tennessee, but all over. Mm-hmm. Um, it's a cause that I just really believe in. Yeah, that. right on. That's so cool. We're hanging out with Grace Bowers here on Lightning 100 talking about a show Monday at Brooklyn Bowl in Nashville. And you mentioned all these people around you and, you know, you, all the friends are going to be playing. And you, you've got some pretty impressive friends because I'm <laughs> yeah. just taking just a, a quick skim of just the poster for this one show. <laughs> I'm seeing like Cadillac 3 and Britney Spencer yeah. and Devin Gilfillian and you you know some people. <laughs> you're you're aware of this, I would imagine. <laughs> Right? Yeah. <laughs> and then the the video too for tell me why you do that which we've been playing here on the radio station is a fantastic song um it, it looks like it's kind of a, a behind the scenes kind of a making of sort yeah. of thing yeah exactly and john osborne produced this correct yeah and so i see john osborne and uh lucy silvis all throughout the video as well yeah correct? yeah they'll, they'll be playing on monday too oh right on yeah. okay very cool i like that um i, I would i noticed too because we we've done stuff with you know john osborne especially with lucy silvis a lot mm-hmm. over the years and so i, I when i saw them it, they jumped out at me and in the studio John Osborne looks like he has just an all-time great stank face. Like when things are really, it does it when things are going really well. Like you can you can see it right there, right? Man, that's outstanding. I like. Is, it, is that is that a good thing to get? Is that a good approval to get when you make somebody do the stank face? Um, when it looks like you just smelled a fart, uh, <laughs> that that is the highest compliment. That's that's it, right? Right on, right on. <laughs> that's outstanding. Oh man, we're rewriting the bio here on Lightning 100 with Trace Flowers. <laughs> now, are you? Did you grow up in the Bay Area? Is that right? Yeah, I moved out here three years ago. Okay, I was going to say you've been here about three years. Yeah. So you came out here pretty much like right when COVID was happening. Yeah, we moved like kind of right at towards the end of it. Yeah. Wow. Okay. So uh, where, when we say the Bay Area, I mean, we're like San Francisco proper. Like, um, I was in a small town about 40 minutes from San Francisco. Okay. And, and, you know, San Francisco, that's another one of those towns that just has like a, such a unique, like a music history and kind of a certain sound associated mm-hmm. with it. Do you think that kind of informed you at all coming up? Um. I think so now, but then I had no idea. Okay. Like, because I, I played my first show when I moved out here. Oh, wow. I just, like, wasn't really, like, passionate about music at the time. So, um, you know, I was living in a place that was so rich with musical history. Yeah. And I just never really tapped into it. But now, like, going back, like, definitely it's a big inspiration. So then when did you start playing? Well, I've been playing since I was nine, but I didn't find, like, a passion for it until I was... About 13, it was okay. during COVID, and okay. I just locked in my room with a guitar and fell in love with it. And just came out a yeah. beast, right? Yeah. That's, that is, because you did, you did a lot of live streaming, too, uh, yeah. during, during COVID. Yeah, on Reddit, that? actually, which okay. is super random. That's it. That's but, not where yeah. you hear about a lot of live streaming. Why, why Reddit? Um, you know, I was doom scrolling Reddit. It was, I mean, <laughs> COVID, you know, I was on Reddit all the time. Fair enough. And I was Fair also enough. playing guitar all the time, so... Um, I just kind of put two and two together and started yeah. live streaming my practice sessions, just me and my guitar in my bedroom. And uh, I would get like 20,000 people at a time watching, and it was kind of oh, wow. crazy. Um, I wouldn't recommend for a 13-year-old to be <laughs> streaming to strangers on Reddit. I guess that probably but, is a good, a good yeah, point no, no, to no, make, it too. Such yeah. a, it was such a bad idea. But, but This, this <laughs> but, could have very easily been a cautionary tale, but you know? You know what? It, it worked out great for me. I still have, like, I still get comments all the time yeah. from people who, like, have been there since I was okay. live streaming on Reddit. And it's a cool thing to see. Well, and, and um, you know, we... Yeah. into a Netflix documentary. <laughs> Seriously. I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, well, at least, you know, we can all say we know her whereabouts. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, there, there are four grown people that know where she is right now, and it's okay. Yeah. All right. We got Grace Bowers here on Lightning 100. Oh, man, we're talking about music. We're talking about uh, sensible streaming. We're talking about shows coming up on Monday. I was getting ready for our visit today, and I went to your socials, and there's just you smiling with Dolly Parton. <laughs> yeah. Just cheesing real big with Miss Dolly. How was that? Uh, that was the most like bizarre experience I've ever had because it was not just Dolly Parton. It was a pet gala mm-hmm. that she put together. So like I'm 
it was like a TV show, so there wasn't a huge crowd, and there was a tiny stage with a runway, and instead of like models on the runway, it was dogs in clothes. Yes. And um, I look out into the audience, and half of it is dogs sitting in chairs. <laughs> That's amazing. <laughs> and, then, and then, you know, then I look to my right, and Dolly Parton standing right there. So. <laughs> That's, that's not a show. That's a Mad Lib. That's yeah. amazing. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it was it was very bizarre, but um, who else can do that? Yeah. But Dolly Parton. It was it was amazing. Well, and, and I think this is probably the first version of this story that anyone's come and even told me. I think playing for dogs and Dolly Parton. You yeah. don't get that one every day. That's that's a that's a rare one, Grace Bowers. I like that. Um, and then that I see is somebody this summer going to go play with Slash. Yeah, we just uh, got an opening date for him. That's not a big uh, deal or anything, is it? No, no. He's <laughs> totally not the reason I picked up a guitar. No, though. no. And I, and I was going to ask, <laughs> is, is, is Slash, is he kind of the guy? Is he the reason? He is, uh, like, the reason that I picked up a guitar. So then where, because, all right, and I'm, I'm 45 years old. I don't care if you know. So I know that I know Slash from being, like, a really little kid when Guns N' Roses came along and they terrified all the old people. So I thought, <laughs> okay, they're cool. I like them. <laughs> Where is where is the end for Guns N' Roses and Slash with you in in twenty twenty something? Um, I mean, I kind of found them the same way. Okay. I was a nine year old with unrestricted access to YouTube. Okay, and um, <laughs> there you go, there you go. All and, right. uh, I, I found the Welcome to the Jungle music video. Oh, see, okay, that's yeah. that's how that's how we yeah. all got into it too, just decades earlier. Yeah, <laughs> I got into. Uh, we also had the. Um, Slash and Duff showing up drunk on the AMAs live. Yeah, that was awesome. I, I, I have seen that video. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was watching when that happened. It was, uh, that was fun. Good times, good times. All right, we're talking about Grace Bauer music now with Grace Bowers <laughs> hanging out here on Lightning 100. And I guess, uh, can we get you to play some more music for us? Yeah, uh, we're going to play one called Wine on Venus. All right. Uh, can you hear me? Because just for a second, I don't think I was coming out of that. Oh, yeah. yeah. I Falling, I die. You can find me drinking 
I have nothing to offer. I, there's nothing I can do to enrich that experience. That is just outstanding from Grace Bowers and the Hodgepodge here in the Volume.com studio and on Volume.com. Out of a show coming up Monday over at Brooklyn Bowl, Nashville. It's uh, Grace Bowers, an evening celebrating love, life, and music. It's, uh, so it's supporting Voices for a Safer Tennessee and uh, Music Cares. And that's going to be Monday over at Brooklyn Bowl, Nashville. Thank you so much for coming by. Yeah, thanks this, for having us. This was fun. I enjoyed <laughs> this. Um, if we want to find you online, maybe maybe try to track down some merch, maybe, at some point. Yeah, well, uh, merch right now, you know, come to a show and get it. There but. you go. Okay. <laughs> uh, we'll have an online store up soon. Uh, and you can find me on uh, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. All the things under Grace Bowers. So if you see somebody named Grace Bowers, it looks like you. The odds are it's probably going to be It's probably me, yeah. <laughs> all right, right on. We'll, we'll get that seminar together about safe streaming for kids. We'll do that later on, right? All right. Monday at Brooklyn Bowl, Nashville. We'll do these. We'll come right back. How about we do one from Kings of Leon?